Coaching in a Power 5 conference is a grueling position from recruiting, practices, home and away games, managing athletes, and spending time prepping for the next game. When does a coach have time to manage their own family? Now multiply that times two and you'll feel the complexity of Virginia Tech coaches Chugger and Shelby Lynn Adair. I came with Chris Riley, uh, the head coach. He got offered the job here and asked me to come along with him and absolute yes. I was hired by Kelly Cagle who was the previous head coach and uh, her husband was the previous assistant coach and they were having, she was the head coach, she was the assistant so they were working together uh, and I took his place. I had met them years before at coaching clinics and uh, seminars and kind of had just kept in touch and it was just a great opportunity to be in, at the Virginia Tech and the ACC. Good talk. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Start again. Stop. Stop. Start again. Real quick. Were you under any pressure? <laughs> Why not just live with the ball for a second, right, and allow things to develop? Every day is new. Every day is new. We deal with all, all sorts of different, uh, just different scenarios, and our days are not nine to five. It's, it's, uh, it, it just changes every day. And I think for me, I like to, to be involved with the team and the, the environment of, a, of the, the sports and the team and the athletic department and things like that is what keeps it fun for me. I like, I like being with the girls and watching them develop from 15, 16 year olds we're recruiting to the 23 year olds that graduate. And we both have a competitive edge, so being in the gym and on the field fulfills some of that for us. We're in our, 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 our I guess our, our most enjoyable season in the fall where we both can kind of do the things that we like. But the, the competitive environment of the team is the, is the best for us. When we're playing those games, you know, it might add a little bit of travel, it might add a little bit more challenges with our schedule, um, you know, as far as Friday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday night games. Uh, however, it's just a good time to, to be in the environment. And that's what we, we, we train for those fall matches. We work it out. Um, and I think it works out well, too, because when we're busy, we're both very busy. But when we're off, we're also off. And we get to have time together. And, you know, we have a lot of time in December and January that we were baseball and I was volleyball. One of us would always be gone. We have challenging nights where I might win and she'll come home with a loss or vice versa. You know, when we come home with a loss and she's got to win, then are challenging. I might be excited or, or vice versa and she might be so. We have interesting moments, you know, but we try to leave it on the, uh, on the field or on the court a little bit and, and you know, kind of move, it, move on with our life as we can. At home, Chugger and Shelby Lynn are able to escape coaching, escape recruiting, and escape practice. An evening in the kitchen typically looks like this, slicing an array of vegetables and preparing the sauce for the steaks about to be grilled. At Tech, Chugger and Shelby Lynn are in charge of their respective teams. But at home, well, someone else is in charge, their daughter, Callie. But she's easy to please. Throw a few diced peppers her way, and she's happy as can be. Pepper. The only question now, soccer or volleyball? Probably soccer. Soccer would be her sport. Yeah, I don't know. She can't play volleyball until she's, you know, teenager probably, you know? Well, Soccer's a good sport for the younger kids to, to try out, so. our home. I mean, I, I think that's a poster, but it is. It's where we live and we want to raise our family and they've, Virginia Tech has taken us in and taken our kids in, allowed us to grow as a family together as we bring in more people and more girls to the Virginia Tech family. We have great supporters here with our, all of our boosters and everyone within the athletic department. So. I mean, I think that poster really hits home for us because this is, this is our home and our home for a long time. And recently, the Adairs have added one more to their family, a baby boy, Austin Tate, born on October 2nd. Congratulations to the happy family. 